Hey, how you guys doing, man? Right. Nice. You like the lights? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> what do you think today? Um, today, I think I did good. Um, got an interception. I think I didn't miss no, no tackles. But pr pretty far, I think the whole spring game was just uh, a good one for me, just to get a chance to let the coaches see that uh, I think I'm, I'm getting ready and getting close to the season that you know, he could kind of uh, trust me out there as a freshman. So, I mean, just trying to prove to the coaches that I'm ready and I'm working hard every day. So, Are you, are you wearing Todd Doxy jersey right now? Yes, I had um, Todd Doxy, a uh, close family friend to my family. I'm from San Diego. Um, it's kind of why the reason why me, my brother, and Darren Carrington came here, just to, just to put on for San Diego and just the Doxy family. And I think I did it well. So. <laughs> How much does it mean to you then, to, to be able to do this oh, at the next level? Is that so you see you grew up wanting to do that, to be able to wear this jersey here? Well, it's just, I mean, it's just, I'm just glad I'm just able to just get out there and just just go, just let them unleash me and just let me be able to make plays. I mean, without last year, just red shirt and watching my brother just play and really didn't really just have a chance just to prove myself. And I think the coaches just really see that I'm, I'm really ready and, you know, and I'm just keep working hard and getting better every day. So I think... What's your takeaway from spring overall? Can you gauge how much you grew just in the 15 practice games? Um, I think I grew every day. I mean, with Coach Neil, my coach, um, just you always have the will just to get better every day, just waking up and just be ready to practice. And I think I just look forward to that every day, um, just trying to compete with the seniors. I mean, Dargan and uh, Efo and Dior. I mean, they just push me every day in the weight room and on the field. I mean, just with them, be on the field with them, just makes it kind of easier for me. What did you think about the, the receivers? First, Johnny Lloyd, he took some smacks out there today. Oh, um, Johnny. I mean, Johnny is a great player. He guys, she's a tough player, toughness. I mean. Uh, out there on the field today, I mean, we was just one on one, me and him, and he put his head down. So I was kind of shocked by that. But I mean, it was, it, once you're out there playing football, your momentum. I mean, I think he's just he feels kind of comfortable out there now from having just playing football out there so long. So Johnny Lloyd is gonna be a, he's gonna be a great fit for us. Devin Allen's day. Um, Devin Allen. I mean, he's Devin. He's a track star, the fastest guy I think that I, that we have. So. Uh, it speaks for itself. I mean, he, he's a hard worker again, and we just all just trying to just show the coaches that us freshmen, redshirt freshmen, just ready, just just help the team out in any ways we can. You could have been kind of even more motivated knowing that there is an opening in your position, and you could play yourself into a starting role as a redshirt freshman. Um, yes, um, yes, but I mean, then again, I just want to just know what I'm doing out there on the field, so just the older guys just don't have to worry about me on the field. Uh, that's what I'm just trying to get better at, just studying the game more and. Just want coach just to really depend on me. Um, just don't want him to worry about me while I'm out there on the field and let the fans get to my head and everything because you know the stadium gets gets loud. So, but whatever challenges comes towards me, I think I'll be ready. What are you better at after spring that maybe you didn't know in the fall or that something you've learned or improved on in the spring that you can take in the next fall? Um, just the way I think I move for my size. Um, coach likes that a lot. Um, but I mean, I still have a lot of work to do. I mean, my game isn't perfect, and I plan on working out every day with these older guys just so I can just be ready for fall camp. What about your fellow San Diego, Darren Carrington? Oh man, I mean, once once somebody do a uh, has a good play on the field, I mean, we're all happy for each other. Um, I wanted to go out there and give him a chest bump, but I mean, we had obviously a color jerseys on. But I mean, I'm proud of him. Um, as long as ways. Uh, he was just happy he just got out there to play with the injury he had during spring. Uh, he just was happy he was just out there to show us his talent. Everybody says they want to get bigger, faster, stronger in the offseason. What about for you at your position specifically, what are you going to be focusing on before fall came? Um, I mean, bigger, faster. Everyone says that, but just being smart, just knowing the game. Um, once you know the game, the game just slows down for you a lot. and. That's just what I'm really just trying to uh, f focus on, just getting, just really knowing the game. Coach Alfred just talked about the spring game being like a weighted, like a weighted exam kind of in a way. How did you, how did you guys as players approach it? Did you feel like there was some pressure out there to bump um, that grade up? Yes, I mean, first spring game for me, just like every other freshman. I mean, last year, last year this time, I was at home watching the spring game. So just, just being amped to get out here and really just see the support that we have for just a spring game. And I mean, it felt like a game to me, um, and just loved it. I mean, spring game. I just, I just hope my next spring game is 
you know, could top this one. So. How about doing what you guys did with the troops? And that's something this program does, but the first time you were a part of it. Um, I mean, I, I, I love that I just got to just get to know the troops, um, just to see them risk everything just for us, our country. And uh, it was just nice just to get to, to get to talk to them and, you know, give them my jersey. I mean, they were just so, so excited when I gave it to them. And, I mean, I just took just the, the, the Army values and Navy values that, you know, just about being leadership and, and everything. That goes a long way. That, that goes with football. Coach Hell talks about that all the time, just, you know, being a leader on the field, on and off the field, and a team leader, you know, just – all that all that ties in with football, so it was just great just to be able to talk to them. Uh, yeah, uh, my first cousin's best friends are Todd, J.D. Luster, uh, best friends. Uh, now he coaches at University of Arizona on basketball. But, I mean, he used to always be at my cousin's house. I was always there. He played Pop Warner. He played for my uncle and my dad. Um, so I was very close to Todd and his family. Um, Big Todd knew that me and my brother was coming out here, and he was just very proud of us, just to, uh, just, to, just to put on, really, just for San Diego. This, this is just not for me. Um, I got a lot of people back home just counting on me and my brother, and we just all just trying to put on for our, for our city. How did that impact you? Is that, I mean, obviously, it was a, a tragedy. Um, well, it was tragic. Like I said, nobody would think that that would happen to that type of player. Um, Todd was never the type to always go swimming and stuff like that. He was just really, you know, in San Diego, he never really liked the beach. So, I mean, it was just, just tragic just to hear that. But, I mean, I was, you know, I was very young then. And just It just motivated me. Like, man, wow, I mean, life's too short, and you just got to cherish every moment. And I'm cherish every moment I have here. And, um, like I said, just trying to put on my city. And why you play safety? Um, it's kind of a reason why I play safety. Um, proved to me as a, as a corner athlete.